What's up guys, Paradox here, welcome back. Last episode, we fought the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. That was pretty much the entire episode. And we made our way here to the Consumed King's Backyard Garden or something like that. Um, okay, we're running a bit low on Estus. We have to fight one of those things. I have no idea if there is a, a bonfire in sight. Oh crap. Oh, safe haven right here, okay. So we're just gonna chill here for a little while. And oh good god, I'm so ugly. So yeah, I have no idea if we're gonna be able to fight those things. I'll try the uh, dancer swords. Can I just make it back to the ground? Alright, phew. So there's a bunch of items. We got an SS shard, which is sweet. I mean, last time I tried fighting these things, granted I was like a super, super low level. And it was... Oh my god, there are so many of them. Should I just, like, take... Try my luck with this guy? And I have no idea. Um... Alright, let's just... Make it across here. It hears me. It totally hears me. No, nope, are we good? Also, um, because the way I ended last episode was relatively abrupt, like right in the middle of where I was, I wasn't too sure. Um, I I didn't reinitialize the audio for OBS, so this part of the of the oh, there's something there. So this part of the audio might be of the game audio might be missing. Um, I'm honestly just looking for a bonfire. Is that so hard to ask? Shit. Do we try to explore that other ledge? Yeah, let's, let's see what it was. I mean, while we're going down, it seems the safest. Oh. Ooh, that cost a lot of health. No worries, though, because we have a ton of Estus. And... Bonfire. No. And Dragon Scale Ring. What does this do? Reduces damage from backstabs. Sweet. But I tried to never get backstabbed. And... Oh, I don't know what you are. I think I just missed out on an item. Um, okay. I'm officially like, not just a little bit, but really lost. Sure, that's right. If we're embered, we may as well get some help. There's so many items to grab. How do we get to them all? I have no idea. Hawkwood the Deserter. So this seems like an NPC kind of dude. Oh, the ones with the great swords are like my deadliest foes. Oh, he's just going in though. That's fine. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, I seriously hate those enemies. With the great sword, why did I try to fight him? He wasn't even doing anything. Uh... Oh wait, don't tell me we have to. Oh, man, why was there no bonfire there? I, I want to see if I have to fight the guy with the mace all over again, because that would seriously suck. I, mean, I probably do message ahead and that door is yep I have to fight him again all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna just 
stop the recording here and just double check the audio, make sure it's all good. Yep, we're good. Okay, so if I want to just skip this guy. Oh, peace. Peace. Alright, so this is the, not the shortcut per se, but it lets us, oh wait, yeah, we don't have to go like directly into the mud, I guess, that's what I was trying to say. So we have a lot of souls that we lost, I'd like to get them back, and I'm willing to bet those things are weak against fire, so... If I can just... Yeah! Oh shit. Oh shit. It's like... Yes. Oh shit. Oh, and I'm dead. Alright, so they're weak against fire, which is good, but they're also really, really tanky. Do I have any other? Oh, I could just, I could use my, uh, my spells. I hate that I have to go up this ladder every time, though. It's really, really annoying. There's gotta be a bonfire nearby there somewhere. I could also go explore that area. What's this? Maybe there'll be a bonfire over here. Nope, more enemies. Yep, a lot of enemies. So, never mind. By a lot, I meant two. I saw two enemies. Oh, but wait, this time we're gonna have to wait for the. Oh, shit. Oh, we're at a, sign a severe disadvantage this time because the elevator isn't up, it's down. So, not only are we gonna have to dodge his. Okay, here we go. So you just gotta distract him. I'll we wait for uh oh, help. Alright. Just gotta bait him. Ooh. Sayonara. Alright, so let's go all the way down so we can send the lift back, because I get the feeling we're going to be dying frequently. I think we're going to be frequent flyers in this level. Okay. So. Oh. Alright, so there's like a small period of time where they're... Oh my god. Holy crap. They're just as hard as they were back in Lothric. I was really hoping that... Uh, maybe... Uh... Hmm. So if you just skip them, let's just run through them, you know? Yeah, that's, that's their best course of action. We'll run through them. And then run through the night. We're, we're going to come back one day for all the items that we missed. Um, probably before the game ends, maybe we'll see. Or during New Game Plus, you know. Sayonara. Alright, so yeah, so we're going to run through the whole thing. Because that should be... Fantastic. Oh, we also have the SSR that we have to give back. Okay. So there's nothing else here. Nope! I don't want you. No. 
also don't want you. Uh, I do want these items, though. Holy shit! Uh, I got so beauty. Okay, so inventory... Use. And then use one of these. Perfect. Okay. Now I do remember we came here once. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, we went... We went here, and I decided to go back. So let's just see if there's a bonfire this way. Fingers crossed. Oh, nope, just, uh... Oh, it's a thrall thing. I haven't seen one of these guys in forever. That's nice. Oh, a titanite scale! Yes, we can upgrade the, the dancer. Swords. Holy crap. Holy crap. They hit a lot harder than I remember. Like, a lot harder. Yeah, next, first, first chance I get, I'm going back to the... I'm gonna go upgrade these swords so they can do more damage. Wait, why are they glowing orange? Oh, who are you? Is like healing them. That's cool. Alright, try healing them now that they're dead. They're all axe, cool. Alright, so now we have this cleric beast. Alright, let's see how much our dagger does. Okay, so dagger is definitely better against these fools. For the simple reason we attack faster and they seem to be susceptible to bleed. Also our dagger is level 5 and it does fire damage, which is sweet. Very sweet. So, alright, some more beheading statues. You know, we're, you're in Lothric when there's a lot of beheads. Beheading. Oh, a Titanite Chunk. Nice. Illusory Wall. Oh wait. Open? Oh! Shortcut? Yeah? Sweet. Good message ahead. Alright, awesome. So you know what? Why don't we... Nah. Nah, we're doing well. I don't want to go all the way back and summon those creatures again. Let's make some real progress. Because I'm a masochist. Yay! So, we're gonna go here. Alright, well, I mean, we got the shortcut. I mean, not a bonfire, but it definitely saves us time of having to do all the ladder, uh, the elevator shenanigans. So that's good. Alright, now we gotta ride it back down. And then leap off at some point. So... Here we go. Now, back in the Consumed King's Garden. And there should be a priest... Somewhere here? Yeah, right here. Is he just healing himself or I just wanted to get him away from the there we go. I want to be able to attack him. Alright, time for ranged battle. Against who though? That's my main question. So if we go back though, is there is there another half of the elevator that we could have crossed? Like if we go around maybe? Is there something else? No, can we break these windows? That'd be great. Break this wall? No. Break you? No. Okay. So, in that case... Let's go ahead and fight this guy from afar and that does no damage is it just the, the bow because it does say somewhere that 
Uh, yeah, it's most impressive with... I don't know. Alright, oh god, you have to wait for him to go all the way back. Oh lord. Okay, hang on. I'm holding left trigger. Alright, I did like significantly an insignificant amount more damage. Let's go ahead and try our beautiful Longo. See how all well that goes. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Cool! Thanks, Dark Souls! Real fair! Stupid claymores. It's like my arch nemeses. We're gonna get a little further back. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, look at how beautiful we are. It's almost like we're a lizard. Ha! I got him in the head. So wait, if we're at this range though, is this still doing like no damage? My new bow? Yeah, it does significantly less damage. It's like we need to use those specific arrows that we have. Um, yeah, moonlight arrows. All right, I'll try one. Yeah, what a waste. Let's do this. Let's go, I'll try fire arrows. Why not? And switch back to longbow. Oh, is he gonna swing? Yeah, it does less damage. All right, large arrows it is. Is he gonna start walking back or? My guy he's just. He's so frustrated with life. Oh god. That was like a real stagger. That was good. Oh my god, this is so satisfying. Considering. Oh shit. Considering how much trouble we had in the deep cathedral against these guys, I think I only managed to kill it once. No, I'm not gonna let you get one hit on. You've already hit me once. Let's just be patient. And... You, sir, are dead. Cool. All right, we're glitching up pretty hard. Should we try to do the same thing with him? Yeah, may as well. Oh yeah, totally, it's another Claymore. Absolutely, we're gonna do the same thing. Same bullshit cheating. Hells yeah. I might leave an annotation, I might. Like, I'll probably leave an annotation for this episode uh, so you can like skip ahead. <laughs> Cause this does seem a little dull. Let's just see if I hold the trigger. Nice, 173 damage. Nice. Oh, uh, we have two sips of Estus. We can help you do some damage. Ah! This is so satisfactory. Oh, he's not moving. moved. <laughs> so 
just gonna stay and take it or nope man this is so great I'm almost inclined like I should try to you know just fight him a little normally but no way these enemies are so tough they have some of the highest poison in the game from my experience Yeah, some of the highest poison in the game. There's, they have so many sweeping attacks. All their attacks hurt for a billion damage. So yeah, I'm just not about that life. Boom. All right. Magic stone plate ring, sweet. Oh, that's amazing. It almost seems like he's not going to spawn anymore now, though. Large Titanite Shard. Alright, decent. Decent. So let's go back here now. Alright, we still have so many items there that we could try to find and grab, but since we're not crazy people, we aren't. So let's go down these stairs. And I want to see if there's... Oh! Okay. Nothing on this corner. Nothing in that corner, right? Yeah. So there should definitely be a bonfire up here. No, actually, actually, it's a boss fight. Ah, good luck. Beating to a pulp ahead. Beware of losing sanity. Shit. Okay, so I'll tell you what. I'm gonna take an ember. Oh, it doesn't restore our ash. And we're gonna equip the magic stone plate, because I feel like that's a clear hint that the upcoming boss, careful guys, he does a lot of magic damage. So, those are my two cents. Alright, and we'll see how hard he is. Alright, there's my summon sign. Senor Hawkwood. Shit, man, these things are so disgusting. I have no idea what they are either. Yay, Phantom Hawkwood. And he has a double-handed sword too. So he's pretty cool. He's an okay guy. And I'm an idiot. Okay. Anything on these sides though? Nope. I can't believe there's another boss like right away right after the dancer that's crazy also i don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's like a horn bellowing oh well okay so wait if he does magic damage though do i really want to try the ah uh, fuck it all right here we go Ooh, there's a cutscene. what is that is that a snake? Looks kind of like a snake. Nope. It's disgusting. It's like a leech slug thing. No, it's... Ah, you ignorant slaves. Finally taken notice, have you? Of the power of my beloved Ocelot, child of dragons. Well... I will not give him up. Please be weak. He fine. Is all that I have. Boom, he does magic. Oh, I don't have any magic resist on though. Like armor. I didn't think this one through. Shit. Well Pontiff does absorb a fair amount of magic, so it could be could be worse. Alright, here we go. Uh who are you? Osiris the consumed king? Okay. What can you do, Mr. Osiris? Where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? 
Moon doesn't die because I spent a lot of time trying to just do stuff. Nah, I don't think that much damage. How much more damage? Oh shit. Oh, it's gonna hurt. No, Hawk, but you can't die. I need you, baby. Oh, he does. All right. So my frost sword is probably not the best weapon I could have chosen for this. I mean, it's probably better than the dagger, I guess. Is that a baby crying? Alright, let's get out of here. Come on, quick. Oh, here we go. Yeah, what is that baby I hear crying? Ow. Yo, this is such a weirdly shaped arena. Like, just in terms of the geometry of it all. It's interesting. Ah, shit. Oh! There's curse damage now. That's not good. That's like the opposite of good. Man, this guy is so freaking tanky. so much hawk that would have been really hard soul of consumed osiris osiris <clears throat> okay interesting victory victory <laughs> question mark uh light the bonfire okay so let's go back travel to firelink shrine I have I mean, that, that seemed like it was some sort of dragon, but he referred to us as slaves, I think? I can't wait to read the lore of this guy, though. Alright, actually, for once, I'll, I'll hopefully remember. Uh, here we go. Alright. Uh, Osiris went mad trying to harness his royal blood for a greater purpose, leading him to the heretics of the Grand Archives, where the where he discovered the twisted worship of Seath the Pale Drake. Now Seath from Dark Souls 1 is the dragon that betrayed the other dragons. That's pretty much all I know. I don't know too much about him. Otherwise, other than that. All right, well. Let's go. Oh, I missed. Oh, may as well put these down. Maybe Luluth will have something new to say now that we killed three Lords of Cinder. I'm sure he's impressed with us. Uh -huh. so, uh -huh. Nope, nothing new. All right, so let's see. Uh, consumed White Dragon Breath. Emit Crystal Breath of Seath the Scaleless. Pretty cool, requires 50 intelligence, so 
LOL. <laughs> and what else? Moonlight Greatsword. Now, this is a famous weapon. This is a really, really cool weapon. It's a great sword, but it's a really cool one. Oh, I want it just because it's a cool weapon, but I know I'm probably not going to use it. Oh, wait, hang on. What requirements? Oh, either way, we need 26. Yeah, we need 26 intelligence to wield it anyways, and we have 19. Yeah. So, for intelligence build, that's really, really useful. Alright, let's go ahead and level up. Well, very then take. Uh, we want to level up. Let's level up our intelligence a little bit. Because our, the, the blades do scale with intelligence. Alright, we need a few more. Ah. Ashen bring me. What is it? <laughs> uh, sell. So we did have a few things we could sell. I remember we found. Where was it? I have no idea where it is. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Knight's Crossbow. And then we got, like, Lothric Knight Gauntlets, I think. Yeah, we have two. Um, and she sells the Titanite shards, right? Yeah. Uh, what else did she sell? That's about it. Okay. Ashen one. Yes, yes, I'll bring you more souls. No worries. Ah, what? Sweet. Reinforced weapon. Okay. So we still can't reinforce. The Irithal, but we can reinforce this. Oh man, look at that scaling. It's beautiful. It's gonna do so much more damage. Boom. Uh, now we need four Titanite scales. I, have, I hope we find more soon. Yeah. Uh, do you need anything else? How are we doing on arrows? Uh, we could buy a few more heavy arrows. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Alright. Sweet. Now then. Uh, what else is there to do? Oh yeah, so I'm just... Uh, how many undead bone shards do I? Okay, so... I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna end the episode here, but I'm gonna keep recording uh, a little bit more if you guys want to follow me. I'm just going to be going to Boreal, um, Irithal Boreal Valley because I want to farm the knights and try and get some uh, their their leggings. So let's go ahead and equip the dagger. So for now, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care guys. Bye.